What's going on, people? Welcome back to the Fourth Dimension. Hope y'all doing all right. Check on your friends, your family. Let me know what's going on in the comments. You guys that are going through COVID or any kind of sickness, I hope you're doing well and I hope you're making it through it. Let's pray for each other. Even if you don't believe in God, let's, let me know how you're doing in the comments, man. Let's talk to each other, man. We got to be there for one another, especially at times like these. Let's hop right into this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to change your engine air filter and your cabin air filter on your Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai Equus. So, here's your part number. 332426. That's for the KNN. So, first things first, let's get this hood popped. One thing I noticed about these, the Genesis and the Equus, the hood rods, the hydraulic hood struts, they're bad. Like, they usually go bad. Like this one, if I leave it alone for a few seconds, you can see it lowering already. I'm not moving. See, I didn't even touch it. <laughs> Rods are going bad. The car's not that old. That one's like a year younger. His struts work just fine. All right, so if you want to remove this cover, it's going to be easier for you. Here is your engine air filter, right? You use my elbow to hold this thing up. You got two clips right here that you want to take off. And then if you want to be difficult, you can probably lift it up and squeeze your little fingers in there and pull it out. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver or impact or take my little drill and attachment and unscrew it. So I'll be right back. So here goes the old filter. Kind of dirty. Not so much. Mm, 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 mm. Here's the K&N filter. You know what time it is. Let's get that smell going. Mm. Mm. Nothing like a fresh filter. Check the sizes. They the same size, man. Don't worry about that, man. As long as you got the part number right. You got it. This one's a little bit thicker. Can in is a little bit thinner. Let's prop it in there. Basically what I did, there's a screw right here, right? There's a clamp and a screw in it. I just unscrewed it and I lifted it up, unhooked it, and pulled the cover right off flops right in there right so let's get the cover back on there as you can see i put a water jug right there but basically unhook the clip unhook the clip unscrew the bolt that i gotta put back in there pull it out this way well i lifted it up because it has to disconnect from these right here i lifted it up and pulled it out and replace the filter and that's about it place it back in there make sure you line this right back up your clips back on make sure it's up on there tight screw it back down now time for the cabin so on to the cabin we already pulled it apart here is your part number vf 2061 that's what you're supposed to do open the glove box remove the eye the sock eyelet remove the stoppers blah 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 blah, blah and install the new air filter air filter so here's what i did open the glove box there's two stoppers on the side that you rotate then you pull them out and they look like this and then you have a mount right here that you also have to pull out and you got to put that back in there you can pull that you can pull don't pull too hard on it, but you can pull it down the glove box some more once you remove the stoppers on the side. And then you get back here and you have this piece that's covering the vent. So I accidentally broke one off, as you can see. But basically, you just slide it out. That's it. You literally just slide it out because these are clipped onto something. And then you just clip them back in. And the old filter will come right out. Here's what mine look like. Pretty dirty. Same size as the new one. And this looks like it's still Hyundai. This is a Hyundai one. So this one might have never been changed. But it still smells pretty good. Anyway, like I said, um, I'm going to spray this filter. The new one. You can use something that's more 
long lasting, you know, because Febreze or something like that, you have a different kind of Febreze, but to me, well, to my nose, I guess, Febreze only lasts like a couple of hours, and it's gone. But then again, that's in open spaces. This is going to be enclosed. But any time, now when you spray something on here, anytime you turn on the AC, it'll be smelling good. Yeah, don't forget to also, your vents up here that's right under the hood, don't forget to also spray up in there. That way when air comes in, it'll also smell good. And you can also spray some Lysol in there to kill any bacteria and to keep the car having fresh air in the cabin. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.